All right, hi everyone. My name is Cara Elliott Ortega. I'm the Chief of Arts and Culture for the City of Boston. And I wanna thank you for joining us this evening for the celebration of Wit and Web by Matthew Hinsman. And again, thanks to JP Hong for kicking us off. We're here to celebrate this public art project, which is right around you, under you. You might be sitting on it right now, uh, which has been underway since 2017. And we're so excited to finally welcome community members to see this artwork, interact with this final piece that we have here, especially for so many of you who are here who played a role in uh, creating this and helping, it, helping us and helping Matthew get to this point uh, of having this amazing artwork here to, for everyone to enjoy. Um, it's so important that the city invest in public art to foster a sense of place, to foster a sense of belonging, and we hope that you get a taste of that here right now and for many, many years into the future. Now, it's my pleasure to welcome someone who's played an incredibly important role in championing arts and culture, and especially the work of local artists, our mayor, Mayor Kim Janey. Thank you so much, uh, Cara. It is great to be here in Jamaica Plain. I'm gonna keep my remarks very brief. I am very, very cold. I don't know about you. Um, but I am grateful that through it all, we all uh, came together for this very important event. I wanna thank the Jamaica Plain Branch of Public Library. I wanna thank uh, David Leonard. Thank you for all of, of your work. I wanna thank BCYF Curtis Hall. Um, all of the neighbors, all of the artists that helped uh, bring this uh, to bear. Um, you know, there are a lot of individuals I want to continue to thank and organizations, the Office of Neighborhood Services that are represented here today. Um, the JP Community Center Council, the Public Facilities Department, the Disabilities Commission, the Boston Arts Commission, the Office of Arts and Culture. Um, and everyone who has been a part of this good work. Please give a loud, loud round of applause. You know, I am uh, just really excited and thrilled to celebrate um, today. The arts have been an important part of our joy agenda. Uh, it is uh, important throughout the city of, the, of Boston that we do more public art and that we celebrate local artists so I'm really honored to celebrate and highlight the work uh, from residents of our great city, um, Matthew Hensman. Is Matthew here? Thank you, Matthew. Throughout this process, Matthew held meetings here with community members to capture the essence of this neighborhood and what makes JP unique. As Kara mentioned, Matthew's artwork is the first project completed that was funded through the city's a percent for arts program to Matthew and your team thank you so much for this incredible dedication your artwork is truly transforming public space uh, it makes it more welcoming more joyful this is a place where families can gather where we can all come together whether it's for spoken word or reading books or storytelling or music I want to thank the great band for playing earlier today thank you so much You know, as I mentioned, uh, this uh, was really important part of our joy agenda, making sure that we were doing more to bring residents together to reconnect uh, as we continue to battle COVID. Um, we need places that inspire joy and that bring us all together. So I'm grateful for all of those who have come to help bring this day to its fruition. I want to especially recognize all of our young people, all of our children who are out here today, who will be using this wonderful, beautiful space. Thank you for livening, livening up this space and, and making this a wonderful community. Thank you guys. for some hot chocolate. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mayor, for your support. Um, and now we would like to invite the artist to say a few words. Uh, Matthew Hinsman is a sculptor and educator living in Jamaica Plain. He is a professor of sculpture at MassArt and is also the chair of their Fine Arts 3D program. He currently serves on the board of the Boston-based nonprofit Now and There, and is well known for his artworks to make upon bench, which you may have tried to sit in or sat in successfully before, and Still, which are both located here in JP. It's been a pleasure for the whole Mayor's Office of Arts and Culture staff and team to work with Matthew over the past several years, 
to help bring this vision to life. Please join me in welcoming our local artist, Matthew Hinsman. Uh, thank you, Cara, and thank you, Mary Jane. Ooh, I knew I was gonna do that. <clears throat> um, so thank you all for coming today. <clears throat> it's so amazing to see so many uh, friendly faces here, to be on the lawn. You know, this piece was incomplete until about an hour ago when we took down the fence and you all inhabited the space. It's really not, you know, I don't work um, in a way where I'm being declarative with my artwork. I want to create opportunities for passersby to engage with the world in a new way. And I look forward to seeing what you all do. You know, um, Cara mentioned the Jamaica Pond bench, which was installed 15 years ago. And uh, I could never imagine when I installed it such a long time ago, um, without permission, sorry, um, <laughs> that uh, it would become a site where people now um, have engagement photos taken there. And I recently got an email, someone had tattooed the bench on their arm because it exemplified for them all that was great about being in JP. So I hope that uh, this site, Wife and Web, will become that part of the Boston Jamaica Plain fabric of all the great stuff. And I did some of the things that um, were said in the meetings that the Arts and Culture Office had with JP residents before the project, before I was even hired. <clears throat> One of the things folks said was, let's keep JP weird. And so I hope, I hope that's happened. Um, so I have a few thank yous to, uh, to just give out. I want to thank the contractors who worked on the project. Um, Steve Sullivan from Celtic Contracting, who did all the form work. I want to thank uh, Dan Kendall and Sincere Metalworks and Caroline and Kristen and Devin and Margie for the casting of those bronze chairs, which are super epic. That texture goes on the underside, too. Those, they're absolutely perfect. Um, I want to thank Joe Vazella from Vazella Design, who did the, um, all the engineering for the project, and Banshee that helped bring the lawn back to life here. Thank you, Pete and uh, Eddie from Banshee. Um, and then I want to thank, thank some folks from the city. You know, uh, some folks had to put up with a construction site for a year right on their doorstep. The folks here at BCYF, uh, Curtis Hall, and also the library. So to Noel and Jeanette and Vicky here at Curtis Hall, thank you so much for all your support over the past year. And uh, to Laura and your team at the library, thank you so much. It's amazing. Thank you. Um, and to all my friends and family, my mom is here today, my sisters and my brothers-in-law. And uh, of course, my children are here, Azure and Sienna, and they're going to help cut the ribbon, right, guys? Yeah? OK. And I think, let me look at my cheat sheet to make sure I got everything I wanted to say. It's really little. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I also want to thank a couple more folks that really helped make this happen. Sarah Rodrigo, who from the Office of Arts and Culture, who this is her first project coming on board, helping me, leading me through this project. It's really amazing. And finally, you know, this whole, I don't think any of this percent for our program would be even be here if it weren't for Karen Goodfellow. And so thank you, Karen, for all your hard work around that. So thank you very much. That's the end of my spiel. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So we have one more thing before we're going to cut the ribbon. Uh, my dear friend Lisa Lee, who is here. Where are you, Lisa? There you are. So Lisa Lee is a, an amazing sculptor and a jeweler and an author and a spoken word artist. And I asked her to come and help us celebrate this event today. And I'm so thrilled that you're here. <laughs> so come on up, Lisa Lee. Thank you. I scribe with the best of them. My pen flows with the ink skill of the greatest of pen women and pen men. Because I write with honest ink, I give others permission to say what they shudder to think. The words I mend together have the power to fix broken. Be they printed upon the page 
or spoken when my generation dies off and well after my pen will hang high with pride from the rafter and because I existed while my pen is yet being to the rafters lifted it will be said of me Lisa Lee established an important era in literary history because I wrote sentiments are decorated with words once hung up in throat I will be the topic of curriculums. My pen will heavily influence what hereafter comes. Keep watch as it all unfolds. My mark in this world, italics and bolds. Because I write. Because I wrote. So, once again, my name is Lisa Lee. I am an artist of many disciplines, including that of the written and spoken word, which is why I'm here. And as much as I try to stay away from the common everyday cliche, I have to say that there's power in the spoken word. Death and life are, in fact, in the power of the tongue. I'll even go on to say that there's power in the written and spoken word, which is why I move my pen and why I lift my voice. This is that for which I am created. And it's that for which I am chosen. So as I carry on, I intend to carry out this with which I am endowed. And it's my responsibility to write deep, step sure, and speak loud. It's the debt I owe to those who have gone before me and stood in front of me, enduring indignities unspeakable, so that I might walk through the front door in all of my eccentricity and in all of my femininity and in this brown shade of black and be heard out. Then be heard as I speak, spit, and spread this smoking, sometimes broken spoken word. All right? All right. <laughs> Matt Hensman. I celebrate you. I celebrate with you and your ability to create community by the work of your hand. And I am just beside myself that I get to share one of my gifts in the light of one of yours. You amaze me, and that's a big deal. Now, you know you're at home when, when you know which way to go, but the street names well, you don't always necessarily know. Feels good when your feet hit familiar ground and you can declare with certain confidence, I know my way around. Well, these parts round here hold that truth for me. And these streets, avenues, roads, and boulevards write their own poetry. And let's keep one thing clear. You damn well better believe there's a pulse here. And with this pulse, there is no ceasing while we're sleeping. It has a nightlife. It keeps right on beating, and it beats on, and it beats, and it beats on, and it beats. And we are all contributors to its rhythm. We have the pessimist pessimism and the optimist's optimism. We have representation of all colored collars, hoodlums and scholars with and without dollars. We have the hungry and driven, adjacent to the prematurely satisfied and complacent. And ah, uh, the energy of our young and the inventiveness of urban tongue. We have appreciators of Duke Ellington, Miles Davis, Aerosmith, The Stones, Lil Six, Roddy Rich, Rachmaninoff. And the beat goes on and on. There is no on and off. And it beats on and it beats and it beats on and it beats. It knows no bias, neither heeds prejudice, beckon nor its call. You see, it's cognizant of the fact that it exists because of us all. It's the working of harmony of skin tones and common ground and lessons to be learned from it all around. It's comprised of the excellence and imperfections of its people. It's quiet meditation. It's tempo, dome, and steeple, grit, blood, sweat, tears, and spit. It's instinct and intellect, creativity, concrete, and trees. It's the good, bad, and ugly that takes up residence in all of our individual memories. See, we are humankind and passive battle against time and chance-induced circumstance. That creates a rhythm to which we insist there be song and dance. 
We compose a collective lyric as we as individuals seek to discover the meaning of this stretch of our journey. We choreograph that dance. We, a flash mob of busy, ripping and running, twisting and turning until we're damn near dizzy. See, all this makes a city move. It's its current, its rhythm. Yo, it's its groove, and it picks up high octane momentum as our individual hearts beat in the same room. Together, boom, boom, boom. Together, boom, boom, boom. And it beats on, and it beats, and it beats on, and it beats, say it with me, and it beats on, and it beats, come on, and it beats on, and it beats louder, and it beats on, and it beats. And it beats on, and it beats, bring it down. And it beats on, and it beats. And it beats on, and it beats, bring it down. And it beats on, and it beats. And it beats on, and it beats. And it beats on, and it beats. Can you whisper? And it beats on, and it beats. And it beats on, and it beats. Once again, Congratulations, you rock and you amaze me. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Um, I think just one more round of applause for Lisa Lee, thank you. And hopefully a preview of how we can use this space in the future. I feel like we need now every Thursday night should be spoken word for as long as we can stand to be in the cold. Yes. <laughs> So I just want to wrap up by saying thank you all so much for being here. Thank you, Mayor, Matthew, Lisa again. Uh, thank you again to um, JP Honk. In just a minute, we'll cut the ribbon, and then we'll have some music by DJ Wysham, who's in the house back there. Thank you, DJ Wysham, for being here. Uh, and we still have chocolate, cookies. Leave no cookie uneaten, please. Um, and just want to say thank you so much for being here to celebrate public art and celebrate this space together. Uh, and please stick around. Stick around for the evening. Enjoy the artwork. And we're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much.